Hey friends, I'm Jen. This is Paul. He's holding the camera. Today we're actually going to be trying exotic fruit. So we're going to go to the grocery store and you guys will come with us. But what's exotic about them? You can't find them at normal grocery stores, although our Vons seems to have a ton of random ones. Yeah, so it's super weird because every other Vons I've ever been to doesn't have these fruits either. But the fruits that we're going to be getting today are like unique to this one. There's like apparently. a star or something one, like dragon fruits one, but there's, there's like, like a Buddha hand or something. They're like weird looking that yeah. I've never seen or heard of, so we're going to go try those out because they look really cool. Yeah, we're also going to have to look up like how to prepare these things now that I think about it. because these are like poisonous like to eat them normally like taro yeah like taro i doubt that but we'll google it too just to be safe yeah. you know so so come on with us where are we at we're at bond staring at all these exotic fruits so they have baby bananas red bananas oh Ooh. they also have red bananas looks a little bit more brown to me and then they have banana burro i think i want to get red banana no baby banana we might this one looks better <laughs> All right, we need a, no, 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 we need a bag. <laughs> Let me show you guys some of the fruits. There's whatever that thing is, honey mango, or that's not, that's, that's a honey mango. mango. This is a... Kiwano melon. Let's get one of those. There's passion fruits. There's okay. tremoyo. Do they not have dragon fruit? Oh, oh no, they're out of dragon fruit. No, we Starbucks have... probably bought them all. I know, we have them in another video though. Yeah, There's we used, Starbucks video. yeah, but we didn't eat it. I want to see that thing. I want to know what the inside of that looks like. One of these. Ow, it hurts. <laughs> what else? I feel like mangoes are common. However, Hawaiian Hawaiian papayas. Yeah, Hawaiian papayas. And then I want passion, passion fruit fruits. One. And then whatever these are, and these are. And then there's baby pineapple. And there's pear cactus. Check it out, your papaya. Yeah, I don't know if they're ripe, but we'll go with it. Hopefully they are, honestly. That's one of my worries is that we're filming this video, but we need to wait for them to get ripe. Well, they should be ripe. All right, so you get the passion fruit. I'll okay, get this cute little one. Dang, that's expensive for that little thing. That's why we're getting one. And then whatever this chur... That's shaped like a heart. Chur... Churimoya? Churimoya. Mango stins. Mango stins. How many fruits is this? It's gonna be like a 11 or 12. <laughs> this is so cute. At this point, I'm just grabbing multiple. Yeah. Pepino oh. melon. Pepino melon. And then the papaya strawberry. And there's one weird one on that side. Oh, sapote mame. Yeah, whatever that is, sapote mame. Papaya strawberry. Papaya strawberry, so it's not a normal papaya. It had a baby with a strawberry. Oh, like eight million of them. All right, so we got the package. A dozen of them. Yeah, we literally got 12 fruits. All of them, the, even the cashier didn't yeah. know the name of them. She was all we, like- And we couldn't help her, she, cause we forgot. Yeah, so when she was scanning them, she was like, I, I don't know about this one. We're like, oh, we can't help you. We don't know either, we just grabbed it. Exactly. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back with our fruit, the and exotic ones, board. and a chopping board. We got 11 to be exact. First, we're gonna start with the ones that, you know, we kind of all know. Aren't as exotic, yeah. So like, we're gonna go kind of down the line. This is a baby pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's adorable. We all know what that is. Mm -hmm. We also have a big one to compare it to. Yeah. Here's the difference. Look at how cute it is. Yeah, we're also so gonna kind of like look up like the facts on them and stuff like that. And then we're gonna cut it and open it and eat it and test it for you guys mm -hmm. and let you know if it tastes delicious. Delicious. And Indeed. if not, you know, it could be because it's not ripe or it could be because it's not a good fruit. No, exactly. So I, I'm pretty sure baby pineapple is literally just a pineapple, but like a baby one. Yeah, just like a baby because uh, it's like sweeter version. or something like that. Yeah, I can't really find any like real facts on why baby versus regular, but that's what we're going with now is that it is just a smaller version. Let me show you how to really eat a pineapple. This was on a it, viral way to eat. It food. hurts. Ow, it does. Oh, you it hurts my fingers. Ow. It like fights back. It doesn't want you to eat it. It hurts. Like Why the... are like all the fruits actually, like all the good fruits in the world fight back? How do you know if it's good? The bigger pineapple doesn't fight back. Okay, so you take out the top. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, so it looks just like a regular pineapple. It smells like one too. Oh, it smells really good though. It smells really good. It smells strong. So technically the way you eat it is by taking off this like chunk. That's a weak one. Really? Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's how you actually eat a pineapple. Really? Yeah. I know. That. Look at that. This is good. It, it tastes like a strong pineapple. It just tastes like a pineapple. Just like fun size pineapple, but it's really good. So. This is like if you live on your own and you're like, I'm not gonna commit to a full pineapple. Yeah, you get, get a baby that. one. I think they look cooler though, having 
the golden look. Oh, oh you're letting all Berry the juices juice. out. Yeah, so there's the baby pineapple. Honestly, I'm for it. SpongeBob probably wouldn't live in that because it's too small, but it's very good. The next one we got is a Hawaiian papaya from Hawaii. Naturally. Not that exotic, but yep. you know, still exotic exactly. if you're not from the US. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is so easy to cut. I love the world. Wow. Yeah, no, it literally was a straight oh. through. Oh, it's one of these. There's a lot of yeah, seeds. Seeds. It's one of these papayas. These are the ones that you see at literally every family gathering. Oh. Yeah, so easily cut for sure. Oh, what are you doing? Because I'm getting rid of the... Where are you going to put them? There's too many. You just eat around it. I got this. I She's got to throw this. Away. She whiffed. I didn't whiff. She whiffed a little. We've got enough seeds out to where we can be able to scoop off of this side. So... I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks nasty to me. It, it doesn't look appetizing. It just looks like a melon. Yeah, exactly. It does not look that and appetizing. And I don't really care for melon. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't care for it. I don't... Like I take papaya. the I take the baby pineapple over it any day. Oh, we found this. This is a strawberry papaya. So this is supposed to be the sweetest, most delicious papaya out of all the papaya. We couldn't find out where it's from, so we just assume it's a hybrid that someone crossed a yeah. strawberry with a papaya because you know papayas aren't sweet Ooh. on the outside like a papaya. Looks the exact same. So hopefully on the inside it's like pink, pinkish nice. and dice. Let's do this. Just like the other one, pretty easy. Are you serious? It's like not even that. Oh, it's, it's a little bit pink. It's a little bit pink. Still a million. Seeds. Still We're just gonna alive. eat around the seeds. Oh, it looks like caviar. It looks gross, yeah. Kind of smells a little bit of, like strawberry. I love the taste of strawberry. I do too. Okay, ready? I'm allergic if I eat too much. <laughs> tastes the same. It tastes exactly the same. Exactly. The only difference is the color. Yeah. I'm actually upset because they said this is the sweetest. I think they just call it strawberry because color. Next one is red, red bananas. bananas. So these are from Southeast Asia. That's yeah, what isn't that cool? And they're so tiny and cute. I picked the prettiest one because you know, some of them did not look that great. Yeah, plumper than a common ha Cavendish banana. It's as big as my hands. This is how you know how tiny it is. See that? It's beautiful. It's lovely. I know. Oh, it looks like a banana. I don't yeah, think the skin's coming off. I don't think it's ripe. Yeah, I don't think it's that ripe either. Still gonna eat it. it smells like a banana. It does. It's not ripe. Bananas are never ripe when you first get them out of a store. It smells like banana. Go for it. You nibble first. It's not ripe. Tastes like banana. Tastes exactly like a banana. Mm, a little on the back end. Just just fun size. Well, on the back end tastes like dirt. Next one is yeah. prickly pear, basically. Mm -hmm. You can find these in Arizona. Yeah, they're they're pretty common. Pretty good. Um, very basically, tiny. Basically, this is kind of our last like common one though. Yeah, the rest is, I don't it even- It starts, it starts to get weird. These, we don't really know how to say their names, so we apologize if we mess it up. If we it botch up, it, yeah. But either way, back to the go. prickly pear. Let's see what's in it. Wow, that very, looks cool. Very pretty, but they have a bunch of seeds. Yeah, they look like, like a little melon. Oh, it's stiff. Because there's, there's seeds yeah, there's too. there's a lot of seeds. Like it's I'm assuming you just eat the seeds. I don't know. I've never had an actual one. Oh, I've had wow. prickly pear jelly. That smells strong. Okay, this tastes better. It tastes really good to me. Without the seeds. Prickly pear juice, like all of that's good. I had it in Arizona when I lived there. Mm. It's really, really good. good. The next one we have is passion fruit. This is not what I expected. It's kind of like a, a little bit bigger of a cherry. Uh, native to South Brazil. Brazil. Go ahead and give it a choppy chop. Oh, no. I need, you know what? You cut it. I'll do I'm it. struggling here. It's not like a papaya. Oh, okay. See, I'm not the only one that's crazy. Yeah, it's white. And it looks then like it an alien. This. Oh, it smells so good Does though. It? Oh, oh, that oh. smells oh. good. No, it does not. <laughs> It does. There's seeds in this one as well. This is one of those ones that you get the juice out of and you put it into a Starbucks drink. Fruits. This is sour. We got a sour one. We got a sour one. We did not get a sweet one. Oh my it gosh. It smells so good to me though. Kind of looks like caviar, doesn't it? <laughs> Just, you know, caviar in yellow stuff. Ah, oh, excuse me while I die for a second. What if you don't no. eat the insides? You do. Oh. We got a very, very sour <laughs> passion fruit. That was bad. But that gives you passion. Look at his passion right here. So passionate his about passion, this fruit. His passion, very that passionate. That was so about gross. How are you not like wanting to gag? That was so gross. It tastes good. It usually tastes good. All right, so then this one is a white sepote. Apparently this one, according to our cashier, tastes really good, except it stains your yeah. outfit. So be careful. Also, it's really hard, so I don't know how we're going to cut it. Cut it. It doesn't mean that. It's not knifeable. Yeah, see, you're fine. Oh, it looks pretty on the inside. Ooh, hold on, stop looking. Ooh. I thought it'd be white. We didn't Whoa. get a white one then. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, it smells really good. Remember, don't get it on your uh, clothes. Take a little nibble. It tastes like it smells. Definitely not ripe, but it is good. It's good. 
good. It's actually dry. Not bad. It tastes dry, but dang, that's actually really good. And this one is the pepino melon. Yep. This one is softer, easier to cut. It is the evergreen shrub native to South America and grown for its sweet edible fruit. Oh, see it's sweet? So, so it's a shrub. Oh, Ooh, right it's so through. easy to cut. Oh, and interesting. it's yellow. Very interesting. So here's the pepino, pepino melon. melon. Yeah, I'm curious about smells this Smells like melon. Yeah, exactly. It smells pretty good. I mean, I don't mind some melons. I'm not a big fan watermelon. of melon, but you know, except watermelon. I like watermelon, it. yeah. Ooh. It's soft. It's very soft. Comes off very easy. It kind of has the consistency of a watermelon, actually. It smells good. It smells so good. Did you already eat it? It's like eating dirt. Yeah, I didn't spit it out. Have you ever had dirt before? Uh, as a child as he spits it out. Yeah, no, it's not great. A lot of these have actually been fairly bland. Which is surprising. Yeah. Because I would assume, you know, they'd be See, really wonderful. And that's the thing though, is that like, all the fruits and stuff that are already cut have so much preservatives in them and they taste so like, more, much more flavorful. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda sucks, except the pineapple. Pineapple is really sweet. Yeah. Next is the cherry moya. This is shaped like a heart. Yeah. It's yeah. soft. Originated from Ecuador, Colombia, Bolivia. Yeah, Central America. It's a heart. Yeah, it's a heart, so that's super cute. It's soft. Oh. It's yeah, like... I was gonna say, it's supposed to... Well, that one's a face. It's a face. Let's give that one a try. Doesn't smell good. Yeah, it smells like... Dirt. It smells the like, ground. It smells like a type of like sunscreen Grass. or something. Nature. Oh, it's like, honestly, it's kind of like expired pudding. Really? Texture. Oh, there's more yeah, seeds, seeds in there's it. There's a lot of seeds in this. Alright, ready? That was... Oh! I'm guessing they sweeten this. It's very that was not really wonderful. Bad. That one's going away from the crowd. That one's <laughs> disgusting. I apologize. That I'm one was try. really, really gross. This one's a mango steam. Might be related to mangoes, but it looks completely different. It's like a cute little plum. It's a native fruit to islands of Southeast Asia. Very. So. Hard. So this one, because the I, I've seen a picture of the inside, I know what it looks like. To be able to cut it might actually be a little bit tricky. So what I'm gonna try to do here, cut around it in a full circle. My guess so is difficult. this might not be uh, ripe at all. If it is, it's a very hard fruit to cut. Oh, but look at it. What, gross? Yeah. No, it's a pretty color, so it could stain your outfit. So I probably should wear in black or something, but it's fine. You live and you learn. Oh well, definitely got through. Kind of looks cute on the bottom like a little flower. Yeah, it does, like a little baby flower. The top piece wants to split. Like a banana split. Oh, that's like a jelly sack. It ran and away. dropped it. Oh, one fell out. Yeah, one fell out of here too. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of like a cutie where you like peel it out and stuff. Sorry. It smells sour. Actually not bad. Decent. Okay, Toby, you want some? Didn't think so. Yeah, it's not sour. It's actually like a little bit sweet and savory. It's kind of like a cutie. Uh-huh. But white. Not bad. So this is our last one. It looks mm -hmm. kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It's the Kiwani melon. Yeah, also known as the horned melon. Where yeah, is it originally? It's originated? from Africa. Ooh, from Africa. Yeah, it's, it's an it African melon. It actually kind of hurts too. Some yeah. of the pointies. It's green. Oh, it's actually kind of pretty. At a glance, it looks gross. <laughs> At a glance, it looks gross. Wow, that smells like seaweed. Wait, do we eat this? Yeah, whatever. Probably. It's like pumpkin seeds. Yep. It's like jello, but with it tastes seeds. like wheatgrass. Consistency of jello with pumpkin seeds that you cannot eat, or maybe if you want to, you could swallow them. I've been chewing on it, and it's yeah, I, I kind of just swallowed it whole. So it's not great. I'm assuming you could eat those seeds though. Aesthetically pleasing though. Very visually Very appealing pretty. plant or plant fruit. Fruit just absolutely like, fruitly. Absolutely fruitly tootly. I would say the best one to be completely honest was the pineapple. I liked the white apple or the Mexican so, apple. Sapote? Yeah, sapote. Oh no, yeah, the pineapple was the best. The baby pineapple, 120%, this was the best. Yeah, this was the best. Yeah, then the sapote. Oh well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Click over there if you want to watch another video. 